The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. I am putting it in human terms because you are still weak human beings. As once you surrendered yourself as servants to immorality and to a lawlessness which results in more lawlessness, now you have to surrender yourselves to uprightness, which is to result in sanctification. When you were the servants of sin, you felt no obligation to uprightness. And what did you gain from living like that? Experiences of which you are now ashamed. For that sort of behavior ends in death. But now you are set free from sin and bound to the service of God. Your gain will be sanctification and the end will be eternal life. For the wage paid by sin is death. The gift freely given by God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And our response is from Psalm 1. How blessed is anyone who rejects the advice of the wicked and does not take a stand in the path that sinners tread, nor a seat in the company with cynics, but who delights in the law of Yahweh and murmurs his law day and night. Such a one is like a tree planted near streams. It bears fruit in season, and its leaves never wither, and every project succeeds. How different the wicked, how different! Just like chaff blown around by the wind. For Yahweh watches over the path of the upright, but the path of the wicked is doomed. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, Jesus said, I have come to bring fire to the earth, and how I wish it were blazing already. There is a baptism I must still receive, and what constraint I am under until it is completed. Do you suppose that I am here to bring peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two, and two against three. Father opposed to son, son to father, mother to daughter, daughter to mother, mother-in-law to daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law to mother-in-law, the gospel of the Lord.